out of the south and then all of that rain sweeping across the country as well Sunday evening into the early hours of Monday. Now here's the outlook into the week ahead. Those temperatures remain in the low 20s across the south of the country, but be warned at times we could be seeing some pretty gusty, rainy, windy weather in the week ahead. Bye-bye. Live from Washington, this is BBC News. Ukrainian President Zelensky makes an appeal to another key ally amid a crucial wartime push. U.S. Democratic Senator Bob Menendez says he's not going anywhere, despite growing calls for him to resign over bribery charges. And U.S. President Biden will join thousands of auto workers on the picket line on Tuesday as the strike expands. I'm Sumi Somaskanda. Thank you for joining us. The Ukrainian military claims it struck the headquarters of Russia's Black Sea naval fleet in occupied Crimea with missiles supplied by Britain and France. Black smoke was still seen rising from Sevastopol hours after the attack. Russia's Ministry of Defense said one serviceman was missing. James Waterhouse has the latest from Kiev. This is clearly a continuation of Ukraine's tactics.